let's start with your news of the day. You uh, 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 raised your uh, guidance for the full year now because of your remdesivir sales, looking at now $2.83 billion. Tell us about this guidance raise and, and unfortunately, I'm afraid what it means for the, the path of the pandemic so far. Yeah, that's right, Meg. So, uh, I mean, obviously revenues are important. We've invested a lot in remdesivir and we'll continue to invest in remdesivir. But I think the really important news here is the impact for patients in hospital systems. So we know obviously that hospitalizations have quadrupled since October. And we're just learning now that, you know, one out of every two patients in the hospital are receiving remdesivir, which uh, is really important because as you know, that um, reduces the hospital stays by up to a week. It also reduces the uh, chances of patients going on to more severe illness and dying by 70% if it's given early in the hospital. So these are really important benefits for patients. And uh, really, uh, I know the colleagues and I at Gilead are very pleased that uh, this is one piece of the puzzle in helping with the pandemic. And we're certainly not done. We're continuing to invest in remdesivir earlier in the lines of therapy and in combination with other medicines to help patients in the healthcare systems. Tell us about what data we should be expecting next and when, and also the inhalable form of remdesivir. Is that still a priority for you guys? And when should we expect to hear about those data? Right, well, we have 40 ongoing clinical trials right now with remdesivir. And as you know, remdesivir stops the, the replication of the virus. So it's most effective if it's given even earlier in the course of hospitalization and illness. So we have studies right now looking at, could we even take this medicine outside the hospital in an outpatient setting with three IV infusions or with an inhaled version? We'll expect to see data on that uh, in the coming months in 2021, but also later in the stages of the disease where we know the inflammatory process actually creates bigger issues for patients. You know, we know today that, you know, in the hospital, remdesivir is being used in combination for those later stage patients with dexamethasone. Uh, you know, a steroid. And we're looking at combinations also with the uh, antibody medicines to find the best way to improve the outcome for patients. So all of those 40 trials are ongoing, and you're going to see a lot of that coming now in 2021. We're firmly committed. We understand, I mean, the burden uh, this pandemic is causing to society, to patients and their families, and our scientists and team at Gilead, and frankly, the industry of, you know, and so impressed by the industry response here with vaccines and therapeutics all coming together to end this pandemic. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.